end up? What's good? Right, bro. Blessed, man. Blessed. Glad to be here. All right. So how do you feel about the Sikh community as a whole? And how do you feel about the Sikh community in Dallas? Like, where do you think it's going right now? I think it's dope. I mean, we've been here. I mean, if you look at the history of the Sikh community in DFW, I mean, there's been popular groups that I think personally, you know, such as the H eight. HSK crew, the Heat Stickers crew, shout out to those boys, man. They got heat. All of them are different in what they do. Um, we got we got a lot of stuff out here. I think it's time now that brands start recognizing us. And like we have a lot of good sneaker YouTubers that are doing their thing. We got people in the sports media field that are talking sneakers. And I think it's going to be a dope thing, man, for the future for the DFW. What are your top 10 kicks of 2019? All right, man, so like mine is more of a history thing. So like I, I know a lot of shoes that are hype, but I'm gonna start off with number 10. Um, it's, it's a simple shoe, the G-Dragon Air Force One. Um, very simple. I know the jokes go about having a black Air Force One, but you gotta have this shoe, man. Like you gotta have this shoe, man. So uh, that's definitely my number 10. Um, got lucky on those. So number nine for me is gonna be the Travis Scott Six. I know a lot of people have it higher on their list, but for me, um, I consider it like if it wasn't Travis Scott's shoe, would it be as popular? But I love Olive. I love the colors. So like Olive Now shoes looks really good. People wearing Olive Now, so got to go with that. Number eight, I'm um, gonna go gonna go with the New Balance 997. Um, no days off. The Bodega shoe. Um, I'm a big collab guy. Um, I love New Balance when they do collabs. Like one of my favorites is a past shoe, the Verner's. Um, Club Soda that they did. It was a green shoe, kind of like the Oakland Athletics colorway. And I just like when they do collabs. I think that's dope what they do. They go for stores, they go for hidden things. So definitely dope for me. Um, number seven, man, this hits kind of home for me. Um, Y'all, we know about the Fearless One Pack, but the mid, the Blue to Gray. Obviously, being a DFW guy, um, we know about Blue to Gray. You know, his family, the Blue family, shout out to them. Dope shoe. I think everybody in the DLW needs to have that shoe and support that shoe. Um, we know, I can talk all day about what's on the shoe, as far as like, you know, colors and materials, but that's a dope shoe, shoe to me. All right, number six, this is more of a history shoe. I'm not gonna say this particular model because it's been several different models, but the Jordan 11, Red 11. I mean, let's talk about history here. If you're a basketball fan, Jordan comes out of retirement, obviously he was wearing a 10, but then he went to 11. That was a 72 and 10 team. We know the history behind the Red 11, man. Like, come on, y'all. And you gotta have at least one of the variations of that shoe in your collection. So I got the Jordan 11 at number six. Number five, I'm gonna stick with Jordan brand. I'm gonna go with the LA to Chicago, the SB, man. Like, for me personally, being a guy that covers sports, like, my first experience of really like liking basketball was that 91 finals. The LA versus Lakers, uh, LA versus Bulls finals. And uh, it's a dope shoe. I mean, there's another colorway that's out, obviously, on that shoe, but you gotta have that shoe in your collection too, man. Uh, Resell's gotta help me out on that one too. I need another pair. All right, number four, I'm gonna go with the um, Cactus Plant Flea Market. Um, I think that's a dope shoe. Even though I have really like wide feet. Um, yeah, man, there's so many guys I've seen that shoe. You can rock that shoe with anything. You can have the craziest fit on. I've seen a guy in a dicky jump shoe with the shoe on. It would look crazy. It was just a dope shoe for me. So I gotta have that shoe on my list. Number three, the Sakai Waffle, of course. Um, once again, having wide feet, it's kind of tough for me to wear that shoe. So I had to go a size up, but dope shoe, very simple, has history behind it. I think that we all need to look at the history of that shoe and um, yeah, gotta have that in your collection. Number two, obviously the Travis Scott one, the high. Uh, I like the fact, once again, I'm a big collab guy. Guys get an opportunity to have their own shoe or just variations of the shoe. I love the shoe. Um, obviously, I didn't get a chance to get the shoe, so if anybody wanna help me, help me out, but love the shoe, man. Like. Once again, Jordan 1, one of the dopest shoes that you can have in your collection. And number one, I know it's simple for a lot of people, and they're like, why would you put it number one? But the history. I'm gonna go with the Jordan 4, the brand 4. If you think about sneaker history, everybody knows the story about the Jordan 2 and how Jordan didn't like the number two, and he was gonna lead to go to Adidas because of that. Without the three and the four, we may not be sitting in this room right now. We all be wearing Adidas, probably. So the Jordan 4, man, the Bread 4 is just a dope shoe, man. Um, I don't care what year, what they do to it. You got a jump man on the back, you got a Nike on the back. It's a shoe that you got to have in your collection. I mean, the dunk contest, the history, the gold chains, you go for it, man. So yeah, that's my top 10.